What a difference these little bottles of shimmer paint can do for your cards. We're going to look at 10 different ways to use this starting right now. So I have two here, Champagne Mist and Frost White. We can kind of intermix these for several things. We're going to start out first with, oh, let's see, okay, we'll just take this one, won't matter. This is Karen Titus from Stamping on the Back Porch. And we're having a good time with shimmer paint today. So you can hear the little ball in here, the little rattle, that'll keep it mixed up. So, oh, this is Champagne Mist, and I obviously didn't have this closed very well, did I? Now I have a choice, whoa, look at that. I can use my sponge dauber. I often use it right in the cover like this, but you can see I'm gonna have to keep taking more. Or I pour a little bit on a jar, on a, on a little um, uh, stamping block right here. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is turn my paper, my patterned designer series paper into shimmer paper. And to do this, this is all I am doing. And I don't know how well you can see this up close, but I'm gonna compare it with, we'll see if we can compare it with the, the regular. Um, and I don't know whether you can tell or not. Okay, here's a finished one, but it really provides a lovely shimmer on there. It looks like the shimmer is right in the paper. Is that cool? So you could do that for all kinds of things. Another way we can do that is to spritz our paper, and I'm just gonna set this aside. This time I've taken a little spritz bottle, and I'm going to put in that, the cheap alcohol that you have in your cupboard, um, the isopropyl. I never remember how to open this thing. There we go. And I am going to carefully pour this into my uh, little spritzer bottle. Okay, so far, so good. That's probably enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess I'm spilling a fair amount. But see, I did put papers down to protect my table today. And now I'm going to pour in a little... So which one should I use? Oh, let's use a little... Let's use a little of this one this time. Everything I am doing today, you can intermix and you just get a little bit different looks. It's just all good. I'll pour in just a few drops of that. Close this back up. And I'm going to shake it. Yeah, you, you do want your work space covered for this. I'm gonna, I'm not finished with this, but I'll set it aside for right now. Over there, I don't want it right on the table. Next, I'm gonna take another piece of designer series paper. I'm taking from the same paper pack here, and this time I'm going to spritz. Now to start spritzing, I'm gonna first go off the page till I get the, because you can see it's just water first until, until I start getting the, actually the shimmer right in there. Okay, now I can go up here. It's gonna curl up, but it'll flatten. So this is going to be curled up and I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to show you it finished. And again, I'm not sure how easy some of this is to see, but trust me, it is beautiful. Let's see if you can compare. Uh, I don't know if the camera will do it justice. This is the plain paper. And this looks, I think it looks pearlized. You know, we've sold pearlized paper. They both kind of, they both kind of do. But it really makes an interesting look on the backgrounds of your paper. So we'll go like that. And now let's do a similar thing. Now we're gonna do it on a darker paper. I actually meant to bring out two blues and I don't have two blues. So first I'm gonna just show you this background. Um, if I just used shimmer on this navy, I'll have to let it dry and then we can go back and look at to it. But on this side, because I want it to look snowy, I'll show you the card I'm gonna make. See, so I have this lovely snow background uh, and just a really, simple card otherwise I think it's just really lovely so for this I'm going to take an aqua painter now you could take a paintbrush too um, I just have some of these and we actually um, this is a discontinued product so this is a perfect use for my 
what, what I have left. And you can see I did the same thing. I have the alcohol in here and um, some of the shimmer paint. So again, I am going to just mix it up. Make sure I get some liquid coming out and then I'm going to just flick it. And if it's not flicking enough, then I will just squeeze to get more out. And you would get even more flickers like with a paintbrush, but how, how cool is that? So this is all this is. And then when it dries, you have this look. So it just makes a really fun look on background paper. Now, since my top piece, is really wet. Let me get rid of let me get rid of the top too. Just for a bit. Pass that over to my assistant over there and we will move right on to the next thing. Okay, what should we do next? Let's look at doing this. Here's a couple more things that we could do. Um, I'm going to take this again and this is just on my white paper and I'm going to just make uh, a shimmery look right on my paper. I'll show you at the end what I'm going to do with this. But um, you don't see it a lot. But I'm going to cut that out as a band. So I'll show you a card. Now I can take my shimmer point paint and go directly on stamps too. So this time I'm going to take this. I have two a wild rose stamp. Whoa, way too much there. But I'll just move it out. I'm going to ink. This is going to be really a soft look but some of the elegant cards have this really pretty kind of soft pearlized look so that's what we're going for here and i'm going to stamp that and it's really a soft look but i'm going to show you do you know what i need is a wet paper towel that would be fabulous thank you it's so wonderful to have an assistant then i'm going to cut it out and i'm going to show you what i did here here is the pearlized part I just cut that off so even on white it stands out and it looks really great if you had, and then here is my really soft flower done like that okay now let's see another thing we can do oh let's let's do this one this is really cool oh thank you now I can clean that off because I'm going to use that again I might as well clean this while I'm at it. Okay, here's another thing. I'm not keeping track, so, um, but I know when I counted there were 10, so we'll just assume there's still 10. And okay, here looks, I'm not sure where my extra paper is, so I'll do it right here. This time I'm gonna take navy, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stamp the jar of flowers. Right on my paper. Oh, and this time I'm going to paint over it. Okay, I'm gonna show you, I'll show you how I did this in a minute. Let's, let me see if this is one is, I guess it isn't finished, so I may have to redo this. Let's do this again. Okay, this was pretty empty. Wink Costello, when you get to the end, this is just a great way to make some paint. Oh, I guess I was mixing it up, but it really is pretty empty. So I'm going to add, if you notice, I'm gonna show this, I loosened it up right, right under here and took the black cap off. So we'll pull that out and add to the paper. Look at the interesting design. See, I'm getting right there. And now I will put this in. Okay, I'll assume that's enough. And then I can take either one of these. Okay, I'm gonna take the champagne. I have no idea, so see, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna put in a few drops of that. I'm gonna put this back in and close it up. Close this up and shake it. Now, I don't have one of those little balls in here to keep it from, those little kind of metallic things to keep it from gelling, so I just wanna make sure I have it shaken up good. Now, I'm going to paint with this. We'll just get it started. Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll do this one. Oh, I probably could do one. Now white is gonna have a little um, lighter look. I think the other one I might have done with white. But watch what I do. This is pulling some of the navy out. I think it's just making this really pretty jar. This looks um, kind of a jar. To, this reminds me of some kind ball. of a, um, a ball. Yeah, it actually looks glassy, like the ball 
um, the ball B A L L canning canning jars. So let's see. The yes, other one I did, I think I used the white so it looks a little lighter. But see how they're both just great colors? And it just brought out a little of that into the paint. Now I can do this the same way with painting with taking, let's take two wild rose again. So this is where I'll do this again. Let's see, this is Night of Navy. This time let's take Highland Heather. Hmm. I'll have to turn this one into a card. Haven't had time to get quite all of these done as a card. I just wanted to show how I can take this and I can paint with it. And as I paint, it's going to pull, whoops, some of that color. That's not, I guess, a really dramatic color. Okay, but you, but you start seeing how this is going to create a very, um, really very lovely, because I'll cut this out afterwards. So I will finish this and I'll put a navy one right next to it. Then I'll make one into a card. Okay, so let's do one with navy. Clean that off once. You know, anytime you're using things like this, I always call it, you know, this is playtime for adults. We just get to play and experiment with things. Things don't need to turn out and it's just amazing what you might discover along the way. So now when we get this one, this one's gonna pull in more color because it's a darker color and you'll find, um, this is similar to using a blender pen when we do turn things into watercolor except that, um, oh, and some colors just turn much more than others. So like this navy is, is just um, really bright. This has much more of a gray tone. This one is really pulling out the blue. And now if I were using the white, I think this would be a little lighter. Uh, so it all just varies. But what I just love is that they're all really fun and very different. So I could do a lot of colors with this. Okay, so there's my black color. Now I will cut those out and I will make those into a card so you'll see that. And now I can also, card right here. Now I can take a flat card. This is from the Gorgeous Posies. And this is a flat lay stamp. So something else that I can do Can ink this up well here and then I can lightly go over that with the same dauber now you know this might actually let's let's switch to white for this one just for do I have um my white dauber oh, here's my other dauber okay we'll do this one in white look at this I'm just gonna go I'm gonna go around just the edges on this one I'll do it twice uh, this is going to be a well-dressed tag because, you know, I'll have it on both. So now I don't know if you can see, but it is really shiny around the corners there. And I'm going to clean that off good because it has that shiny part on it. And this time I'm going to put it over the whole thing. Oh, <laughs> surprise, surprise. Okay, so now I'm going to just kind of lightly... Put it over everything. Uh, I can just kind of wipe that off. Now, when I've used daubers for these, they're gonna always just stay for these. They're, they're never gonna get all of the uh, sparkle off. So I, I just leave them, I put them in their own little baggie. And now we have, this one I think you see even more. Do you see how, what a pearlized flower that looks like? And in the middle, I didn't do anything. So that's kind of showing the difference. So is that a fun look? <laughs> okay, and then, let's see, we still have one more. And I think this is really a fun one. And of course, by the time I've shown you all these, just pick something and start playing and then don't stop. You know, just try it on other things because that's really how, how we create. Now I'm looking to see if I have, I know I brought it out here. If I don't see I don't see pink so I will use this we will just change our color combination on the spot because we can do that this time I'm going to just sponge 
I just have my, this is gonna be my paper. And if I don't want like to get a lot of those lines, I always suggest going off the line first. But for this, I'm not gonna matter what kind of lines I get on here. I'm just going for it, because this is a, just a quick, quick and easy. I could also use the sponge rollers. And the reason, th this will just be a different look than if we were using a solid paper. Ooh, and I have one more after that. I better not forget. Just so many things to share here. Um, I'll move that here so I don't forget. So I'm just going to kind of go over it because you see how that is all kind of different intensity colors. So it's, it's interesting just on its own. Now what I'm going to take is some cling wrap. Just any, any kind of a plastic bag would work. Um, um, you know, a sandwich bag, kind of, kind of anything. I'm just gonna take a little plastic wrap here and we're just gonna bunch it all together. And I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna use both. I'm gonna use up everything on here. And I'm just gonna go along and dab it. And if I think it's too much on. This is a look that we have called polished stone for years and years, because it, it looks like, I don't know, like a polished granite or something. And it is really, really a pretty look. Can you see that? Is that And so I'll show you a finished card with that. So I did two here. Actually, it isn't finished, but I'm gonna show you. I did two. I did a uh, darker pink. I think this was in terracotta, and then petal pink. Just trying to see what might show for the camera more. This one I did in white. If you notice that, and this was done with champagne, but it really doesn't matter. And either one of these, I will finish them this way. I was thinking I will put a black ribbon on, and then I will put this on and just see how that looks so great with both of them but it just gives a really pretty background oh and then the last a really another just very basic thing you can do you can color your your um a regular cardstock too so here i'm going to take i am going to do an autumn card and i'm just going to fill in Fill in with these. Let's see, where did my put my white one? Is that one around here somewhere? But you see, when I just paint with that, what a pretty color that is. There, I'm just using that, and let's see. I don't, oh, here's my other. But we'll just see. I don't think there's really going to be a difference. And that one still has some purple on it, but that's really okay because. Well, so this is kind of a purpley, purpley thing. Uh, so, the, and this makes the regular cardstock look very pearlized too. So I will finish a card with this too. And you'll see all the finished cards. I will connect the blog post where you can just see stills of all the color. But it just gives a totally different look. So have fun. I did some fun things with a poinsettia using these too. So I will link that to the side. But have fun with all these ideas and thanks for watching.